Hello and welcome back to lecture two. Okay, so now we're going to write our first Java program. And of course, it's going to be called Hello World. I think uh, you can write a Hello World program in almost any programming language these days. I kind of like it. It's, uh, if, you have, if you've never heard of uh, Hello World, it's, uh, it's the simplest program in the world. Um, it does a couple of different things. Number one, it makes sure you have the compiler tools installed correctly. And uh, number two, it's a nice easy way to break into programming um, in any language. So whenever you pick up a brand new language, you know, if you write a, a quick little hello world program, uh, it kind of sets you off in the right direction automatically. So let's go ahead and do that. And uh, I've got uh, the Java Eclipse um, Excuse me, I've got Eclipse loaded up already. Um, I left that open from the end of uh, the last video. So go ahead and open up Eclipse if you don't have it open up already. And I took the liberty to writing down uh, because sometimes I talk fast. And uh, so this will help you um, kind of like hear or read what I'm saying. So I wrote down a little notes and a little notepad window that uh, you can read um, while I'm talking to you. And I'll refer to these notes, and actually I'll just double check to make sure the notes are good as well at the same time. So this is uh, to write a Hello World program. We're going to follow these steps. The first one, we're going to start Eclipse, and then we're going to create a new Java project. And we do that by selecting File, New Project, and then we're going to select Java in the category list. I'm going to go through this in a few minutes, so don't worry if you haven't gotten all this yet. And then we're going to select... Uh, we want to create a Java project. Um, right now we don't actually have anything else installed, so it's just going to tell us Java. So if I come back out to Eclipse and um, I, uh, here I am, make sure this is big enough here. Let me make it a little bit bigger just in case. I'm out in Eclipse and I am going to select, oh there we go, now we're, we're definitely big enough. I'm going to select the file menu and I'm going to select new and we have two options. We're going to do a generic project or a Java project. If you have C++ installed, PHP, some other programming languages, it's going to give you some more options. Um, if you install the Android JDK, it's going to say Android project. Um, and uh, So we don't have any options. We just installed this fresh and we just have a Java installed. So that's why I picked up Java project. So I'm going to select Java project and hopefully you're doing the same thing. And uh, I get a dialog window that shows up. It's going to ask me for a project name. And um, it doesn't really matter what we call it. Um, at a convention, it's probably not a bad idea to, to make it short and don't include any blank spaces or any special characters. So I'm just going to call it Hello World. So I'm going to type in Hello World. You can call it anything you want. I'm going to use the default location. And uh, you probably want to take note about what location this uh, ooh, Sorry about that. What location we've got. And uh, this is the workspace location. It's in Documents and Settings, Owner, Workspace, Hello World. Uh, so it's going to create a directory for me. It's going to put all my files in there. So this is when your teacher says, you know, send me, and I'll show you in a few minutes after, after we get all done creating the project. I'll show you how to find the files and what, what you're going to need to do with them in order to turn them in for, you know, for assignments and things that you're working with. Uh, if you're taking a class that's going to require you to turn stuff in. Um, so uh, in this particular case, we're selecting the default location. And in here, we don't have to worry about this. It just leave the JRE alone. We're just saying that we're going to write a program that's going to run in the Java runtime environment 1.6. What's the only one we have installed? If we had more installed, actually, it's a good question, do we? No, oh, we do. Well, it's backward compatible. Let's just leave this alone, though. Um, if we had more installed, it would tell us, it would give us some other options. So don't do what I just did and click around. Just leave the use and execution environment JRE up there alone. Um, and I'll explain more about that a little bit later as we go through the course because Java is a cross-platform compatible kind of a language. We can write programs that will run on an Android phone. We can write programs that will run on a printer. Um, you know, it runs on a, you know, a Blackberry phone, all sorts of different devices and things. So here you know, we're just going to say it's just going to be a regular application that we're running. Um, so, uh, oh yeah, we also create applets to run in web browsers and stuff too. So let's just leave everything else alone as well. And I'm going to click finished, actually. And uh, finished is going to set up, uh, it's going to bring me back here. And uh, now I have in my package explorer, I have my first program. 
and I've clicked the uh, the plus to, to to expand out the directory structure. And I see this is where we selected that JRE, that 1.6, the SE. Yours might be labeled differently. It depends on what version of Java you have installed and what you saw in that project creation window. If we expand this out, what we're looking at here are a bunch of default libraries. This is basically our um, system. This is uh, part of the runtime environment that's going to give us support for all of the different features uh, that we're going to be using in our program. This particular program that we're writing is only using one feature, it's using output. And uh, we're going to be putting a message onto the screen using a system out command, and I'll show you that in a few minutes. And um, because we really haven't even started programming yet. Um, so I'm gonna, I'll come back and I'll revisit some of the library support later on. Um, we only have one other folder, and it's a source folder. SR, SRC stands for source code. Um, it comes from the old time grassroots programmers that used to create their own directories, and this was short abbreviation for source code. Um, it certainly is a lot shorter than writing out short source code. Uh, we don't actually have anything yet, so that's the next step. We need to create our source code file, and our source code file is going to be one class. So here's the interesting thing about Java and about object orientation, and this is your first object orientation lecture as well. Um, everything runs in the form of an object. So object orientation, we create a bunch of objects, and then we have the objects pass messages back and forth between themselves, and that's how our program runs. Um, so what we need to do, even for Hello World, is create our first object. And you might be wondering, well, how do you create an object? An object is actually nothing more than a class. Why they called it a class, I don't know. Um, it's a generic term, I guess, maybe. Um, a class is all-encompassing of all this information that represents the object. And I'll get into a, a full lecture later on about all of the different components of a class. But for right now, let's just create one so we can kind of demonstrate the point and get familiar. You know, at this point, we're just trying to get familiar with the de development tools and stuff. Um, so if we go back to my instructions here, um, we have uh, finished. We put in the project name. We clicked on finished. And so now we're done with that part. Now we're going to create a new Java class. And to create a new Java class, we're going to click on the create a Java class option. And then, uh, actually, let me scroll this way. There we go. We're going to create a uh, Java class. And we're going to call the class Hello World. And um, then we're going to click on the checkbox, indicate that, uh, yes, we want it to include the main. And I'll explain that in a few minutes. And then we're going to click on Finished. So let's go see this happen, actually. So it doesn't matter where you've clicked. What, what's in the Project Explorer window, we're going to add to it, but we don't care. We're going to actually go back to the File menu now, and we're going to say New. But instead of opening up a new Java project or project in general, we're going to go down to the lower end here. Um, we're going to select the second object because we want to create a new class. And this is why you sort of, and you'll see some other options in here like enumerations and interfaces, annotations and stuff. This is what we're learning in this class. We're trying to we're going to figure out what all these objects are. But let's just start with a class first. And the class is basically going to be how our program runs. So these are all different types of um, well, let me call them objects or units. These are different types of files as well um, that we're going to be adding to the project. But for Hello World, we're just going to use class. So click on class, and you're going to get a dialog box that comes up that says New Java Class. And we're going to put it in the source code file. And here is where it's going to show up in our package explorer. We're going to use, we're going to put it in the SRC directory. And uh, we're going to leave, although it's not advisable, we're going to leave the package empty. Um, because we're not, we haven't even started talking about packages yet. And um, so we're going to get to that later on. But right now we're just going to leave it on the default. And I'm going to go down to where it says name. And I'm going to type in hello world. Uh, because that's what I want to call it. Um, so it's in our project called Hello World, and our first class, we're going to call it Hello World. We can actually call it anything we want. In fact, let, let's change it. Let's not call it Hello World. And um, let's call it um, My Class. That sounds good. My Class. Um, because 
what we're going to do is go out and we'll take a look at this once it's created. Um, or we call my first, let's call it my first class. My, let's go here, my first class. Oh, that's interesting. And um, so I'm going to do two things here. I'm going to tell you a couple of things about traditional programming conventions and then we'll continue on. Um, what we're going to do in this particular case is create a file automatically. In fact, Eclipse is going to do this for us. It's going to create a my class, my first class. Eh, let's take out the first. Let's just make it easier. <laughs> my class. There we go. My class.java is going to be created for us automatically. It's going to be a file, just a regular old text file. We'll go out in DOS and look at it in a few minutes um, after we create this project. And um, it's going to hold the source code for our first class that we've created. And um, the naming convention here is kind of interesting. We always start out with a capital, and we never put spaces in the name. And if, for example, here we have hello, capital H, world with a capital W. Well, here we have my class, capital M, capital C. Um, it kind of, for the eye to read it, it's actually kind of a, especially in the states here, it's, it's a very common naming convention. It makes it easy to read. Um, everyone, you'll, you'll always see uh, the classes always capitalized, the name of the class always capitalized, and you'll see, you know, when you start a new word to capitalize it as well. That way you can come up with some pretty long file names. And now uh, I'll go through the, sem the, the formal semantics about how, you know, what you can use, because there's some restrictions. We didn't come close to even having a problem with any of the restrictions, but sometimes, you know, you can't put a number in first. Uh, like the first name, first character of the class name can't be a number or a special character. There's a, a length restriction. There's all sorts of different things, uh, but let's not worry about it right now. We just want to get through our Hello World program. <clears throat> let's just leave everything on the defaults as well, and because uh, we haven't talked about inheritance either. But the super class, this class is actually going to be inherited from our class object. An object is the main class in, in, for applications in Java. So let's leave that one alone and we'll leave it, make it public. I'll talk about public, private, protected, and all that stuff later on. And uh, the instructions wanted us to click this one right here. It said, uh, which method stubs would you like to create? Well, we actually kind of want to create a public static void main. And this gets into the main concept. In the old days, before we started working with classes, we had functions. And Functions basically told us where to start, where to execute stuff. We encapsulated a bunch of information we put into a function. We just called the function and ran the function when we needed to. And your classic C program, and actually even in C++, and also in Java, the main starting point of the application always looks for main. Um, so we have main, and we have some parameters. Well, if we were running a command line program, which we actually are, we could send some information to main when we ran the first program. So as an example, when we were typing on the keyboard, my class space, and we could put in one, two, three or something. And the one, two, three would come in to the main function as formal parameters. And I'll talk about that later as well. And those parameters could be used in the program for something. Um, you know, like maybe it's an IP address. Um, or maybe it's going to be used for something else. But essentially now what we have um, is to basically go down and take a look at uh, what we're generating here. And uh, we don't need to generate comments. Um, we can work with uh, inherited... Um, oops. oops. Let's leave that alone. We can work with inherited methods. We'll just leave it alone at this point. Don't do what I do and click all over the place. So click on finish. How's that? When we click on finish, we come back, and now we have, lo and behold, we have a new, um, we have a new item that showed up, and it's in our SRC, our source directory. It's into our default package that we selected. Um, I'll talk about packages a little bit later on as well. And we have our first program. It's called myclass.java.